So Mahesh writes, friend of the show, friend of the show. Is there any doubt that Babcock will become head coach of the Ottawa Senators? Melnick with Leafs petty jealousy, poaching a bunch of players and DJ Smith. Babcock with his revenge factor and the fact that Toronto can pay the bulk of his salary. Come on. No, they can't pay him because Toronto has to allow this. And if uh, Ottawa didn't step to the plate with two and a half or three million of the five plus million that Toronto has to pay, they'll just say no. Oh, he's under contract that. to us. More than that. What if? The, okay, let's let's under the assumption Melnick says I'm going to pay Babcock whatever he wants. Blank check. Well, then Toronto will be like, if I was Toronto, I'd be like, okay, then you're paying the full freight. You're paying sure. five. Do you do you see? There's a a, a chance, a path no. to Babcock becoming head coach of the Senators. No, because Mike's Senators, smarter. No. Um, no. Okay. You can have your issues with Mike, but Mike is smarter than that. Okay. They got DJ Smith because he was cheap, and then he had to, like, complain to even get paid at the beginning of all this pandemic. Remember? Remember that? No. There, there was something about the coaching staff. Um, they had to be like, hey, man, you owe us money. Or they, they tried to cut their salaries by, like, half. We, we covered. Yeah, we covered it. It was months what? ago. Oh, though. yeah, yeah, when everybody was taking pay cuts at the beginning of the pandemic, right? Yeah, and DJ yeah. Smith had to be like, no, please pay me. <laughs> right, right, right. No, well, you are paying me. I'm under contract. Or like you can, okay, s- salary cut, I suppose I understand. Not 50%. Mm-hmm. Get out of here. I do remember that. Uh, yeah, and- so not, not Ottawa. Okay. Well, fair. You shut down that rumor. Well, speculation Done. or question or whatever you want to call it. Final question comes from uh, Jesse on the Steve Dago podcast. Do you guys uh, have a pick for the Super Bowl this weekend? Chiefs, Bucks, uh, the Patriots. Oh, um, uh, sorry. I I need to amend what I say. I usually say I watch one Patriots game every year, the Super Bowl. Sorry, I watch one Tom Brady game a year. Yeah. The Super Bowl. It's funny. People talked about, they're talking about this as like a legacy game because Tom Brady is the greatest and Patrick Mahomes could be the greatest, could challenge him in 10, 15 years, depending upon how it goes. And the Chiefs look really strong. (laughs) That's such a long time. Yeah, I know. I know. But that's how good Brady is. What has he had? Like eight, nine appearances or 10 appearances or 10% of all Super Bowls ever he's been in? 18%. Oh, 18%. If Mahomes gets this one, then he's on the same pace as Brady. That's crazy. Yeah. So here's... Here's what I'm thinking, okay, with this game. Because Stephen A. Smith, I do love watching First Take because it is just outrageous sometimes. Um, they get a little too in the weeds sometimes with uh, the NBA. But when they talk about football, I'm like, man, they actually, they've got some interesting points. And Stephen A. Smith says that this is a legacy game, not for Tom Brady, but for Patrick Mahomes. Because he said he will never be as great as Tom Brady, could never be as great as Tom Brady if he loses here. And I think that's a really interesting point because Patrick Mahomes is supposed to be in the prime of his career and the Chiefs are an incredible team. Tom Brady is definitely not in the prime of his career. He's been very, very good. But Tom Cruise or Tom Cruise, Tom Brady is in the game management stage of his career, right? The weapons available to Tom Brady are far diminished compared to what they used to be. Tom Brady wins this. I, I don't I, – Patrick Mahomes is awesome, and I love watching him play. He's probably my favorite player in the NFL right now. I don't know that he could ever surpass Tom Brady. I just don't think it's possible. So I'm, I'm jumping off of Stephen A. Smith's point there. I think that this is a legacy game for Patrick Mahomes. Tom Brady's legacy is cemented. Who cares at this point? I would just – I think it's just funny to see him and Gronk in the championship game again, recreating that, that, uh, that Instagram video and stuff that like that. that you can tell, you, yeah. you tell they're just having a fun. And it's cool because, um, you know, I think the Buccaneers fans are like long suffering. So this has got to be really cool for them. Right. I know nothing about football and I don't know any Kansas fans, but I know one Buccaneers fan. So I'm, I want the Bucs to win. (laughs) I went to the last Bucs game that Tom Brady didn't start. Oh, wow. I went, to the, I went to the last game last season where Jameis wow. Winston broke the record for most touchdowns by a Bucks quarterback in the season, which was then broken by Tom Brady this year. So are we now coming up on, I was thinking about this today. Are we coming up on a year since the last professional sports game you went to? Because for me, 
Mine's I got passed. I, I got six, passed. Oh, I got 16 more days. I went to the Leafs four nothing win against the Pittsburgh Penguins, uh, which was erased two days later because two days later was the David that Harris game. Is a good question. No, Even mine comments, would be oh, mine sorry, would be next. Not next week, the week, two weeks, uh, two weeks, the family day week. So I think it would be like the 17th or something. I saw the Warriors play in Golden State because I was in San Francisco wow. at the time and I saw the Warriors. They got demolished. Oh. They were terrible last year. Um, I forget who they're playing. Um, uh, I forget. But yeah, it would have been that, that game. Okay, so, so. I'm coming up on it. I was at a I'm, Pete's game March 7th, but I, I was busy. I barely watched. So. Yeah. Mine is the Bucks game. Mine's the Bucks game. I saw them in uh, like Christmas right before. It would have been 2019, mm-hmm. but it was right before the turn of the year. Uh, it was their last game of the season. Yeah, I saw them there, and that was it. Man, if I could only have gone back. It was beautiful, oh. sunny day, and we were sitting right beside the big, stupid Buccaneer cannon, and every time they get into the red zone, that thing goes off, and every time they – field goal or whatever it's just fire they just fire that cannon all day long but it's fun they're going to be banned from firing it this weekend because the are they? Site, it, the site has to be a neutral site to play the super bowl so uh, they're not allowed to use any of the home advantages that they would normally have advantage it it's is funny. an advantage if you're firing a freaking cannon every it time is. well like you remember the columbus <laughs> yeah, one you always the do. other team <laughs> no, if you're think- just doing it for celebration I also think that they're the first team in history to have home field for the Super Bowl. They are. It never happens. Yeah, it's ne- think, it's it has never happened. Yeah. I think it's cool. Mm-hmm. I think they should have I think they should have allowed for that. And I think the city of Tampa should enjoy this and I you know as much as um I, as much as I, I have my questions about, you know, a bunch of people being let in that aren't inoculated with the COVID vaccine, you know, you do you free will whatever. Uh I think you know, I'm sad that I can't be there because this was one where I was like, I actually told my parents because they live uh, about 45 minutes away in Sarasota uh, for part of the year. I was like, okay, I can come down and stay for free. So if I can find the cheapest Super Bowl ticket imaginable, and this is when this is when there were 60,000 people going, not 18,000 or whatever it is going to be. Uh, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to freaking do it. I'm doing it. And so it's sort of sad that it's here and it's like, now you can't go. Sorry, man. Hey, you don't even I have the option. Yeah, I was going to save all year. I was like, yeah. I'm going to put, you know, 100 bucks away every paycheck. You're going to get a paper can, route. Get a paper route, drive Uber, whatever it is. I want to go see this. I want to see at least one Super Bowl. And uh, it, this was going to be the one. Mm-hmm. Bummer. Bummer. But it will be fun to see the Miley Cyrus TikTok. Um, uh, tr- what is it? The TikTok trailer? The TikTok uh <laughs> <laughs> for healthcare that she's workers. Do. Yeah, for healthcare workers. She's gonna she's gonna do the TikTok tailgate for healthcare workers, which will be there fun. you go, you got it. <laughs> and uh and the weekend did his press conference today too, and that I think is gonna be a hell of a show. He spent seven million of his own dollars to make it the best show of all time. And uh uh I mean he's going up against some pretty big names, Prince, Michael Jackson, to name a few. I think it'll be pretty cool to see. So it's gonna be exactly. it's gonna be a historic Super Bowl. You have the greatest quarterback of all time, and like you should be a little misty eyed if you watched Tom Brady growing up. Like it was uh, two decades ago when he played in his first Super Bowl, and you don't expect to be twenty years later. He's still there, kicking with a great team. I so. remember watching that Super Bowl, Jesse. I I had just gotten a TV in my room. <laughs> Big deal. Yeah, right? you're like 12. Big, yeah. And and I remember it was Adam, I think it was Adam Vinatieri that hit the, was it Adam yeah. Vinatieri that hit the field yeah, goal yeah. at the end? Uh, I remember that. I remember thinking that, like, wow, this this Tom Brady guy, I wonder how Drew Bledsoe feels. Like, right. That, I remember that Super Bowl. And by the way, the TV was seven inches. <laughs> it was the tiniest little TV. Did you have a remote for it? Yes. I oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't the ones you got to get up and change. No, it, it was just like one of those old TVs that your parents have sitting in the basement. And I finally convinced yeah. them that I needed a TV in my room and I got to watch the Super Bowl in my room, which I thought was pretty cool. So, anyway, can you no, show us a pretty Iggy? big Super Bowl? So, yeah. Show us Iggy before we go, Steve. I'm, I'm trying to, but I can't get the just, here. I got to like literally up. pick just up the up. computer. Oh, Iggy. Oh, there he is. Iggy, say hello. All right. 